Yeah, it's here. Uh, we're really excited to, to kick off this season. I think um, we were able to, here in the preseason, um, accomplish what we wanted with a closed scrimmage and uh, an exhibition game and be able to see a couple of completely different styles of play to help prepare us for what we're um, about to embark on. And so uh, we're just really excited to open the season Wednesday and particularly with uh, um, the, the special opportunity we have to pour into some of the youth in our state with this uh, programming on Wednesday. What, what were some of your goals for that scrimmage and were those accomplished? Yeah, I think um, some of our goals have just been um, the staples, which are to be strong rebounding team and really um, go out and rebound, uh, out rebound our opponent. I thought that uh, for about three quarters that we were accomplishing that goal and then we kind of um, let up just a little bit and we watched how that affected um, the results in that one quarter and so I think it was a very good lesson and the type of thing that you want to be able to take away from an experience like that. Um, I think we had some goals to just uh, really be able to clean up, you know, just handling the basketball and taking care of and having value for every possession. And that's really on both sides of the ball, Brent, just um, taking care of the ball, but also, you know, knowing and understanding the value of each defensive possession. And I thought um, we did a pretty good job of, of trying to stay, you know, locked in with that. And, and so um, we feel like we got exactly what we wanted out of that. And that's um, some things that we're doing great, but some things that were highlighted that we need to continue. An exhibition, but did you feel that the team had more confidence walking off the floor after a performance like that where you're not quite sure how you're going to perform your first time on the floor? Yeah, I think that um, uh, they felt confident. Uh, exhibition game and just also um, you know kind of felt uh, infused with the love from uh, the, the Husker Nation fan base and and so I think that also kind of just gives that a little added energy and um, so I think right now our kids are really feeling excited and poised and and ready to get this thing started. Have you ever started a season opener on a uh, weekday at noon Never have. This will be a first for me. But um, you know, we feel like what what a great opportunity for us, and and we we want to really place an emphasis on being able to uh, have our young women um, pour into the young people in our state and what a great opportunity for us to do that. I think uh, we had postseason meetings with our team last year, and we asked a lot of them their why. And about 90% of our players said they wanted to be a positive impact and role model for the young women um, that were, you know, in their, you know, that they were in those shoes um, a few short years ago. And, and uh, this is an incredible opportunity for us to do something like that and give back to the people in our state and um, really provide some excitement for them to, you know, something to look forward to and be excited about. And so we're, uh, we're just looking forward to it. Yeah, it's something that we've really kind of talked about since uh, since I've been back at Nebraska. I know they had uh, the life skills department here at Nebraska had organized something kind of similar for uh, the opening game uh, here at Pinnacle Bank Arena, and it was just a, a great success. And um, in our sport uh, across the nation, you see a lot of uh, women's basketball programs that are doing uh, similar things where they're able to have the school games and playing in earlier game so that um, students can be able to come as kind of a class trip and be a part of that and so it's something that we've uh, talked about and brainstormed about and we're excited to kind of kick that off. Amy as you've gone through your practices and scrimmages and everything is there anything that you didn't expect positively wise that you're like oh wow we can do this or we have this person or anything that kind of surprised you that you didn't expect maybe? Yeah, I think one of the things that we've been uh, most just pleasantly surprised about is that uh, our newcomers have done just a really, really good job of being able to kind of adjust and pick things up quickly. And um, I think that's a credit to our upperclassmen and the returning players who've done a really good job of, of kind of embracing them and, and spending time outside of practice and on the baseline, kind of just putting their arm around them and kind of bringing them along, but also um, three young ladies that are kind of locked in and trying to really um, 
take everything in and adjust and be coachable. And, and so we've been, we've been very pleasantly surprised with their ability to find ways to contribute, and um, we're excited for that. Mile marker game is this weekend's matchup at a good Missouri team to kind of gauge where you all are at early on in the season. That's a good question, um, one that I haven't even spent two seconds yet thinking about because um, you know we feel like you know we've got a former alum in Margaret Richards coming in here on Wednesday to play, and um, she I have a ton of respect for uh, her recruiting ability and what she was able to do as an assistant coach at Clemson and along the way, and now as a head coach, she's just been steadily building her program at Alabama A&M, and um, they've got a lot of depth this year. They're a completely different team than what they've been in the past, and so. Uh, Really, that's the, the only thing I've focused on right now is uh, is Wednesday's matchup with Alabama A and M, um, and and then uh, you know we'll we'll move on to the next game after we've had a chance to really focus on that. Did, did Coach Richards ask for a game with Nebraska, or did you ask her? Yeah, we've kind of been uh, communicating about this game um, for a couple of years. I think, you know, last year we thought we were going to be able to get it done, and um, some things kind of fell through at the end. And so uh, uh, we we were able to get this game scheduled here early this, this year, and it works out great. And um, not only is uh, Margaret getting to come back to her alma mater, but um, they have a very, very good player that graduated from Lincoln Northeast High School that's an all-conference caliber player in that program. And, and for her to be able to uh, get back to Lincoln, and, and so it'll be fun to have uh, Nigeria Jones back in town. And, and, um, and you know, we're going to have our hands full trying to keep her contained. You've still got a young team. Was it nice to see everybody, I guess, kind of locked in against Rogers State and a team that was smaller, but I mean, you guys dominated on the glass. And yeah, I yeah, I think it's it's been really kind of a new unique year because uh, people will talk about our experience, and the truth is, yes, we have our top seven scores back from one year ago, but um, we still have seven players that are freshmen and sophomores, and so there's kind of this unique balance of some players that uh, you know that are upperclassmen, but um, some 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 great leadership from um, some players like Hannah Whitish and Nicaea Eliley who've played quite a bit of minutes in a Husker uniform, but also, um, you know, still some some young players that are, you know, trying to find their way and find their niche. So it was great to see we've been talking about consistency, and it's very hard to discuss um, talking about championships until you've got that consistency. And so that's what we've been striving for, and I thought uh, we were able to sustain that in an exhibition game um, on, on this past uh, weekend, but we feel like um, you know, we still have a lot more to be able to accomplish the consistency we're looking for. What are your emotions before the opener, Amy? I, I would think that with the veteran roster, I know you have your youth, but with so many returners, there would be a sense of comfort heading into game number one. Yeah, I just, right now, I just feel, Kevin, very excited. You know, I just feel excited for this team. And, and you know, we've been talking about just cautious optimism because uh, you know that the season's going to come with its share of adversity. And we don't even know what that's going to look like yet. Um, but that's just the nature of athletics and, and a typical season. There's going to be see some things thrown at us that we have no idea what's coming. And um, how we handle that will really define um, what this team is capable of. But uh, there is a lot of excitement. And um, this is a fun, fun group to coach. Um, it's a great team to um, come to work every day uh, with, and I'm excited for what they're capable of doing. Do you expect to have Taylor for the opener? We do. Uh, we do expect to have Taylor uh, back for the opener, and, and we're excited to see what she can do. With this young team, how important is it, how, how important is it to get off to a strong start? Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's really no secret. One year ago, we lost a few close games early with some young players, and I think that it no doubt kind of affected us. And um, so something that we'd really like to get off to a, a great start, and mostly because you know we've been talking about. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed because I watched the last press conference and uh, and I uh, here I am today and I feel I sound like a broken record because the word I keep saying over and over and over is consistency and um, in order to sustain that or to achieve that I guess um, we got to get off to a great start 
we've got to get off to a great start and, and not have those kind of uh, peaks and valleys and highs and lows. And, um, and so uh, I think that starts with being able to, to really um, be sharp. I think our team knows that our ultimate goal is to be playing our best basketball in March. And, um, and so sometimes you're going to uh, stumble a little bit early and we're okay with that is how we handle that and can we grow through that um, but for our team it'd be great to uh, have a great start do you like where your defense is at right now uh, I think we're still a work in progress on the defensive end, but I like the fact that our team has clearly identified some specific goals that they want to be our identity, and I've seen um, great and drastic improvement in those areas. And so that part makes me feel very, very um, good, uh, just knowing that our kids can commit to uh, this is what we're going to have as an identity on the defensive end. Um, they have decided they want to be the most communicative team on the court um, and not just in a particular game but you know across the country and they want to talk on defense they want to know that they can depend on each other and I think uh, play the the best team defense as a result of that and I thought that really showed I had a couple of um, just even my family members that said wow it seemed like your team was really um, talking everybody was talking on the defensive end of the floor and I'm glad that that's something that they noticed Regarding your newcomers, do you have the luxury of kind of slowly working them in, or are you going to need, re need to rely on any one of them a lot right away or not? Yeah, I think that this is a very deep team, and so it's just a comforting feeling for any newcomer to know that um, they're not going to have that huge pressure on their shoulders to have to feel like they've got to carry us. Uh, they all have roles. They all have specific things that this team needs them to bring to the table, um, but it's not something where they're um, feeling the pressure to have to uh, produce this or that um, every night out in order for our team's success because we have a lot of depth this year. Anything else for Coach White? All right. Thanks, Thank guys. guys. Thanks, Amy. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, Sports Director at KRVN. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. To keep up to date with everything we have going on with our sports coverage, you can find that. And we love to have you subscribe to our channel. Just hit the little red button in the right corner.